How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. What is your name? Uh, my name is Bishop Dr. Peter Ambuka. Bishop Dr. Peter Ambuka. Yes. What is the area of your doctorate? Uh, leadership. Leadership. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Mm. Um, in today's topic, mm -hmm. we are talking about money. Mm -hmm. In the church of the olden days, mm -hmm. they used to say that when you are poor, you are right with God. Mm -hmm. And then there came up another doctrine mm -hmm. of prosperity. Mm -hmm. We would like to know mm -hmm which is the true doctrine according to God. Okay, uh, I think uh, basically when the early gospel came with the colonialists or the white people, uh, they thought that Africans, we were poor. And yet we were not poor because we had our land, we had our cows, then they were looking in terms of money and all those kinds of things. Yet we Africans, we never used to consider things like money our, our riches was based on what we have. If you have many children, you have many wives, you have a big farm, you have uh, cows, you have goats, you are considered a rich man. So we were rich in our own way. But now when they came, they thought that we were poor and because we didn't have the money that they had. And uh, so that gospel was perpetuated as the gospel of, of, of poverty. If you are poor, then you are more spiritual. But when you look at the word of God, God that we serve, he is a rich God. Uh, he's the one who created everything. He says the silver is mine, the gold is mine, and he owns everything. And if God owns everything, then how can we say that, uh, and we are his children, how then can it be said that we are children of a rich God, but we are poor? So basically the confusion has been in the area of what does it mean to be prosperous? Because prosperity is not just in what you have, but prosperity begins first in the heart, uh, your relationship with God. There is prosperity of health, prosperity of, 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 uh, of uh, peace, and all those kinds of things. And uh, to me, uh, when a person gives their life to Jesus, just like God told Abraham, I will bless you, that person becomes blessed. And part of the blessings has to do with money. Uh, part of the blessing has to be with properties, has to do with peace. But it does not mean that if you have a lot of money, then it means that's a, the prosperity from God. Because we have people who have a lot of money, they don't know God, and also they have so many problems. They are sick and all those kinds of things. So the godly prosperity begins first from inside, and then it is manifested in the outside. So when it comes to the gospel of prosperity, I believe there has to be a balance. Uh, there are those who take it too far, but we need to take it in the right perspective. And the right perspective is that uh, uh, God will prosper us, but not just financially, uh, but in also other areas of life. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your views. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like for you to pray for our viewers okay. at your own free time. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to pray now? I can pray now. Okay. Yeah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person who is viewing us. I commit them before you. If they don't know Jesus, I pray the Lord you may save them and um, let them come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And above all, Lord, I pray that you will bless them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. You're welcome. Thank you. Asante. How are you? I am very fine. Thank you, Anthony. What is your name? Uh, my name is uh, Samuel Munai. Samuel Munai. Yes. Uh, what is your occupation? I am a pastor, a pastor of a church, Pefa Church South B. That's where I'm shepherding the flock of Christ. Okay. Um, what do you think is the view of God regarding money? Um, the view of God regarding money, I think, number one, it is God who created money. And God wants everyone that he has created will, uh, to prosper. So God wants you and me to prosper in matters finance and uh, for me to prove what i'm saying i would want to use two or three examples very quickly number one in the book of genesis chapter 13 verse number two i want to quote um abraham abraham being our father of faith the bible says and i read in uh, genesis 13 verse number two abraham became very wealthy in livestock and in silver and in gold. That is what the word of God says. Abraham became very wealthy in livestock, in silver, and in gold. 
Again, his son, Isaac. Allow me to read also Genesis 26. Genesis 26, uh, verse 13. Genesis 26, verse 13. The Bible reads again, Isaac, the son of Abraham, it says like this, the man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very rich. Another translation will say, and the man prospered and he continued prospering until he was very prosperous. So matters finances, it is God who started it. And if you want to prosper, you must be able to connect with what the word of God says. Of course, I know many of you read Malachi chapter 3, verse number 10. It says, try me and see. That is the only place if you want to be blessed where God says, try me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven. So how do we try God? We try God through our faithfulness in giving. Look at the Sarafat woman. She was a widow. She only had some little food to eat with her son and they die. But then the prophet of God comes, Elijah, and says, give it to me first. Give it to me first. If she would not have given to Elijah, truly, she would have died. But the moment she gave, the Bible says she filled and filled and filled, and she, she did not have any more cans to fill the oil. And I would want you to know, nothing leaves heaven until something leaves the earth. So God has a plan and a purpose for us to prosper. Thank you. Thank you. And can you say a short prayer for us? Okay. Thank you so much. Let me pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all listeners. Lord, as you have promised us in your word, as they try you in your word, just like the Sarafat woman, Lord, may you prosper them. Everyone listening to us, the dream, the desire, and whatever they touch, Lord, I pray that they will prosper in the name of Jesus. Any hindrances, anything that has blocked them from moving forward, from accessing your divine treasures, Lord, we rebuke it in Jesus' name, and we commit them to your hands for success in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I pray and I believe. Amen. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful week. Karibu sana. Asante. Thank you. Thank you. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Unaitwa nani? Mimi naitwa Simon Madhumwai. Simon Madhumwai. Eh, hey. unafanya kazi gani? Nafanya mimi nafanya kazi ya kaos. Na hii kazi ya kaos uipenda juu hiyo inanifanyia mambo zote. Na hii ndio ofisi yangu ya hii kaos. Nikirauka asubuhi naambia anga Mungu and Anisaidie nikienda pale kazini niwe na, u, na uwezo wa kupata ile kazi na sifanyangi kazi nikifanya ati nikitagamea ati ni si kazi mm. ina juanga ni kazi kwa maana yake mm. ndio unirisha hii Nairobi okay yeah. na are you where you want to be financially uko mali ungependa kuwa kifedha naweza lakini Kitu ya kwanza ni kuamini Mungu. Mm. Mungu ndiye wewekeza mtu mahali pengine. Mm. Lakini mahali nipo mm. na ngoja tu Mungu anipeleke mahali pengine. Sio mimi nitanjipeleka mm. ni Mungu. Ni Mungu ni ukweli. Na unajua kuna there is kuna ile pati ya Mungu na kuna pati yako. Eh yeah. wewe kwa pati yako unafanya nini ndio siku moja uweze kufika mahali ungependa kuwa? Kitu ya kwanza mm. ni kuamini hii kazi nafanyanga mm. hata mahali penye nitaenda mm. nitakuwa na nita, mahali penye nitaenda mm. nitaenda nikiwa na jua mahali penye nilikuwa nafanya nilikuwa nafanya kazi na nikifanya ile kazi nikijua ni hata nikienda nikichejua mahali pengine ama nikibadilisha kazi ingine najua hiyo kazi pia nitaifanya vile vile tu ni mahali nilikuwa Asanti sana kwa hii video umekuja kukutambelea asubuhi hii na ile kitu naweza penda hii serikali yenye iko ni kwe inaangalia wale bottom up wale watu wandogo wa kujiinua sana sana ikishughulikia watu wa kaos mwanzo nikianziwa kama mimi naweza enda mbele na nikianziwa kama nikuja niulizo maswali hii mambo ya kaos najua ama na hii mambo ya kaos naijua na, na nikipata hii kazi ama hii kaos nikiyekewa kazi ama nikinunuliwa machini naweza iendelee mnagani naweza 
ifanya venye tu pale pale tu naifanyanga na naifanyanga nikiwa na uzima nikijua hata mwenye atakuja kunisaidia mahali ma, ma, niende nipate ama nipate niende ni seven seven nipate run naweza kuwa nikijiinua hii kazi si semangi ni mbaya hii kazi ni kama ofisi yale ya, kama wale wengine wanaendanga kwa ofisi sasa lakini unakutanga wengine wanakudharawa ati hii kazi ni nini nini lakini hii kazi ni mzuri juu inanirishia bibi na watoto na hii ni kazi iko na maana sana ukielewa ni kazi inaweza kutoa bali sana hii ni kazi uwezi idharau juu sijai mimi tangu nianzie mambo ya kazi ya kaos sijai rara haja ama sijai enda bila pesa lakini naomba sana president wetu president ruto atusaidie angalia wale watu wandogo tunaweza furahia sana kwa hii kwa wale wa vijana wandogo wandogo na hii clip naweza omba sana imfikie asikie wale bottom hapa wale vijana wandogo wandogo pia wao wanamfikiria venye tu alipambana na hii kampeni yake na si tukapigana na hii kampeni tukisema ni yeye naye angalia wale watu wale wa bottom up wandogo kama mimi na wengine tuko nao hapa naomba tena wao pia unaweza wachukua ka video 1 2 3 mm. uwauliza maswali yao mm. dio hii serikali itushughulikie na ituangalie kwa hii hali ya maisha kulingana na ile njaye iko hii saa hii sijui naweza sema mna gani lakini Mungu tu mwenye tunaamini mwenye tuliamini pia tukipingana na hii kampeni yake tunasema iko sawa lakini president wetu naomba tu atuangalie hii hali yake mm. na angalie bottom up mm. kwa hii clip naomba sana imfikie na tumesema ni asante sana sawa okay eh yeah. asante kwa muda wako kwa yeah. na siku njema asante sana how are you i'm very fine what is your name uh, my name is ken waroe ken waroe yes what do you do for a living uh, for me i'm a business person mm -hmm. uh, i do events I uh, also I'm in mean, transport industry. Uh, yes, yes, I do Uber. Yes, yes, yes. What is the name of your events company? Uh, the event uh, the name of my event company is Keneski Limited. Uh -huh. uh, events and Sound Entertainment and that is what personally I do. Keneski Events Limited. Uh, sound Sound and uh, Entertainment. Sound Entertainment. Yes. Do you have a page on social social media? Oh, we don't have a page, but we are working on it. Yeah. We are still working on it. Okay. Even the website is coming very soon. Yeah. We are working on it. Okay. Yes. Um, are you where you want to be financially? Of course, I'm not where I want to be. Because mm -hmm. uh, there, there's so much we are still doing, and we're still building ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we're trusting that uh, in the near future, we'll be able to reach there. Yeah. Yes. And what steps are you taking to ensure that you reach there one day? Uh, some of the steps that uh, personally I'm doing, we are trying to work hard because uh, the most, especially now that things are not that easy, especially in our economy, uh, most of the business are affected. Uh, but we are trying to work hard and try to look for more work and trying to make sure that we even we extend even our time of working. We make sure we expand ourselves and uh, personally that is what I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm personally doing. Okay. Just to ensure we work hard yeah. in our business, because business, if you don't work hard, don't expect to be able to reach out there for uh, where you want to reach financially. And also, I'm trying to. We are trying to make sure we we do a lot of savings. Yeah, we are. We are personally, I'm I'm doing savings, and uh, we are trying to see how to go about it. And we are hoping for the best. Okay. Yes. And if I can ask you a question. Yes. Many people find it hard to save. Because una save kidogo, yes. and then my taji inakuja. Yes. How do you ensure that you do not touch your savings? Uh, one of the things you can ensure by not touching your savings is just to have a discipline within you. One, you have to have a discipline. And also you have to look at your expenses. What are you, exp what are you like? Uh, what are your expenses? You have to sit down, uh, write your expenses, so that you're able to understand if your expenses are taking much more money. How can I reduce those expenses? If I can be able to reduce those expenses, then I'll be able to get some few money to save. And if it's maybe hard for you to discipline yourself, 
you can just look for like a locked saving account whereby you just save save and maybe in that account maybe you're only allowed to withdraw maybe once or twice in a year so that can it can really help you in terms of saving so even having a locked account is really good if you can discipline yourself yes okay thank you for your views yes have a wonderful day okay thank you so much habari yako poa sana unaitwaje naitwa constantine mangoli constantine constantine unafanya kazi gani unafanya kazi ya matatu ni dereva oh route gani nafanya bypass bypass eh mm. uh, northern bypass yeah. mm. kutoka wapi hadi wapi kutoka ruaka mpaka ruirundani oh. na umefika mahali ungependa kuwa kifedha sijafika bado hujafika bado mm. unafanya nini ili siku moja uweze kufika bado na na work hard yeah. najikaza natia bidii ndio ili ili ni, ni, ni take ni, ni take step moja mbele na unaweza pia watu mawaidha gani ili waweze kufika pia wao nizaambia vijana yeah. waache kukaa hivi idol watafute kitu ya kufanya yeah. wajikaze yeah. mm, kama wengine hii Kenya sasa hizi mali tumefikia yeah. sasa hizi kila mtu nini anjitetea kivi yake unaona yeah. yeah. sasa wasipotie hiyo bidii yeah. hii bashata kuja kuelemea mm. Awa, asante kwa muda wako kuwa na siku njema. Asante sana. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Unaitwaje? Cosmas Aluda. Cosmas Aluda. Mm. Unafanya kazi gani? Unafanya kazi ya matatu. Kazi ya matatu. Mm. Umefanya hii kazi muda gani? Unafanya mwaka mmoja. Oh. Na inakupelekaje? Si mbaya lakini kuna changamoto tu za hapa na pale. Eh. Hey. Mm. Changamoto kama gani? Changamoto kama ya kushikwa na polisi. Mm kwa sababu abiria unaona kama saa hii tuko parking tutangojea yeah. rush ya jioni yeah. mm. oh. na mnashikango kwa nini na askari unaweza shikwa na makosa kama au na uniform yeah. mm, kama vitu za kazi oh. mm. sawa na uko mahali ungependa kuwa kifedha uh, bado bado yeah. eh, unatumia mikakati ipi unaweka mikakati ipi ili uweze kufika siku moja Ha, ni kutafuta kazi kuingiza biashara biashara hivi ndio yeah. siku moja nikuje kufanikiwa kwa maisha biashara kama gani Azim, kama saa hii kuna biashara niko na duka yeah. mm. oh. mm. inapatikana wapi iko watala mruiru mruiru mm. oh. mm. na unajipea miaka ngapi ili uweze kufika huko unajipea kama nimeweka nini ya uh, kama 5 years hivi Mm. Oh. Sawa nakutakia kila laheri uweze kufanikiwa. Sawa. So. Neno do you have any last words? Eh naweza sema hawa vijana wa siku hizi tujikaze tutie bidii eh yeah. maisha ndio maisha iweze kusoma unajua sasa hii maisha ni ngumu sana eh yeah. uweze tegemea mtu sasa hii nijipange mwenyewe. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Sawa. Asante kwa muda wako kwa na siku njema. Sawa so, pia na Asante. Habari yako? Salama. Unaitwaje? Naitwa Francis Mchuiri. Francis Motuiri. Mchuiri. Mo? Mchuiri. Oh, Mchuiri. Yeah. Eh, unafanya kazi gani? Mimi nafanya katika sekta ya matatu. Eh. Nikiwa ndonda, nikiwa driver pia. Eh. Yeah. Ukiwa ndonda na ukiwa driver. Yeah. Una prefer gani? Zote kwa sababu sasa hivi hakuna job mom. So unaweza chakua job kwa sababu Kenya job mm. uh, asipatani uh, asipa, uh, kani haraka haraka yeah. so ili unapata yeah. ndio unafanyia yeah. eh. na kama naweza kuuliza swali ungekuwa rais ungefanya aje kazi ipatikane eh ni vile ni, kama mimi ningekuwa rais wa Kenya leo hii eh, ni vibanda zile ambazo za Kenya nyingi zilifungwa at least afufue ndio wa Kenya tupituweze kupata job vijana wengi sana hawana job another thing ni vijana nao wasilala wasemi hakuna job job ziko unaweza pata pale uuze kitamba uuze matunda pale unaweza kuja hapo kufanya kazi ya matatu ama kama ndo ndana upate 200 at least upate kitu kukula usikae haido yeah okay eh, na umefika mahali ungependa kifedha kivipi aswa kupenda pesa kutoka kwa ngaba ama kwa mbanga Ah, mm -hmm. na maanisha mm -hmm. 
uh, your financial status uh, are easy. you where you want to be mm, no 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 so, easy yeah. life imekuwa ime, imekuwa juu unga ndio hiyo kila kitu imekuwa juu na renti mtu analipa so mm. sasa hata ukisema ni mambo ya kuinvest itakuwa ngumu sana kwa sababu ile pesa pesa unapata kama kama ni sotano familia inakula yote na unalipa renti naisha mm. so sasa hizi mambo na kuinvest ni ngumu sana mm. na bando pesa ya Kenya imekuwa haina value nini mm. yeah so at least sasa hii mambo ya kuinvest na sina sijafika mahali nataka kufika nataka pia mimi kuwa mwanabiashara eh mzuri oh na kuna mipangilio ambayo umeweka ndio siku moja uweze kufika eh unaweza share kidogo eh so ni vijana ya kwamba ile kile kile tunapata kidogo situmie vibaya at least endelea mtu a save kama uko na account pale ukipata 500 siku ile yote you know the problem ile tuko nayo kama vijana wale wengi ni 300 wanatumia sana so usiku ile yote unaona na 300 vijana tuache kutumia 300 kwa wingi eh mm. ukipata hiyo 500 kwa 300 200 save pale kwa bank at least unaoa bank uki save for long, kwa, kwa mtu wa miezi kadhaa unaweza unaweza pale wakupatia ka loan na uendelee kuinvest yeah hiyo ndio tunaanzambia vijana waache 300 juu hiyo ndio inatuharibu kwa wingi yeah ni ukweli miadarati imeingia sana eh imetuharibu na leo vijana wengi sana ukia ukitembea hapa tao ama huko stage hizi tunabebea au makamagira wale wengi wengi wanatumia miadarati so hata unapata mtu kama saa hii ile miambia alipata asubuhi yake alitumia miadarati yote akafanya nini sasa hii amelala unaona sasa hii amelala tu hapa anaangalota na ni vibaya sana eh kwa hivyo vijana tuache miadarati ni ukweli kuamini kwamba Mungu yupo tutato mali tupo hatuwezi ishi mali tupo lazima tutaenda step nyingine yeah Asante kwa wakati wako kuwa na siku njema. Ah, pia nawe. Asante. Habari yako? Salama sana. Unaitwaje? Ah, naitwa Martin Karanja. Martin Karanja. Yeah. Unafanya kazi gani? Niuza bi ni ni nation standard, yani bi ni vendor. Wewe ni vendor. Yeah. Na unapatikana una vendingi wapi? Ah, mostly Nairobi area. Nairobi area. Ah, west sana sana. Oh. Na Huko mali ungependa kuwa kifedha? Eh, tena sana. Tena sana. Eh. Ulifany, ulifanyaje ili uweze kufika hapo? Ah, kwanza una kanyanga, kanyanga una haso, unamaliza kiatu. Eh. Ah, ukitafuta tafuta, eh. pali unapata unashika, unajishikilia kwanza. Eh, eh lijishikilia kwanza kidogo. Eh. Ya. Yeah. Oh. Na unaweza advise aje watu ambao tunajaribu kufika mahali? kitu ya muhimu ni kuvumilia eh. kuwa na imani eh. alafu na kuwa active na kuwa active eh ah na usibague ni wapi ama ni wapi eh yeah. oh. sawa asante sana kwa mawaidha yako kuwa na siku njema ya yeah, nawe asante habari yako nzuri unaitwaje vera vera yeah. unafanya kazi gani Urban cleaning services. Urban cleaning services. Yeah. Eh, mnapatikana wapi kama unataka ku promote biashara? Tunapatikana farmers round about get one. Eh. Yeah. Oh. Okay na umefika mahali ungependa kuwa kifedha? Yeah. Yeah. Umefika. Okay. Na ulifanyaje ili uweze kufika hapo if you can advise other people ili waweze kufika pia? Ni kungangana tu na life. Sometimes unapitia anga magumu. Bado unajua mandugu wa Said yangi. Unajingangania wetu peke yako. Usiitegemea mtu mwingine. Kama una, unataka kufika at the step that you want, lazima ungangane. How lose up, how give up. Mm. Hadi kama mtu anakudharau. Just tunafunga macho kiendelea. Eh. Yeah. Oh, so usiangalie maneno ya watu. Na usirudi nyuma. Na usirudi nyuma. Eh. Oh, na ufocus. Na ufocus. Okay. Kuna kitu kingine ungependa kuongezea? I'm grateful by the way. Eh. Eh. Sawa. Asante kwa maoni yako. Kuwa na siku njema. Nawe pia. Asante. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? Lawrence Njoki Mashari. Florence Njoki Masharia. What do you do for a living? I'm a shampoo girl. Shampoo girl. What is the meaning of shampoo girl? Um shampoo girl ni ile wa ile wa ukimaliza kunyolewa unaosha na unapewa massage. 
na inakupelekaje hiyo kazi uh, so far so good so far so good um, are you where you want to be financially uh, not exactly and what are the steps you are taking to ensure that you get there one day working hard maybe yeah to <laughs> which technique do you use apo kwa saving because most of us what tunapata savings na tunatumia how do you make sure ugozi your savings nikona nikona nitango ya account nimefungua account ya lock so nikiweka hapo kuna vile naweza toa for how long yangu nimeka for one year Okay. Na do you have any advice for wale watu also they are coming up and they they want to reach their financial dream? Uh maybe tu niwaambie wa save. Thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. Habari yako? Nzuri. Unaitwaje? Naitwa Brivian, but tunaweza niita Talia. Brivian ama Talia. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Na hustle hapa pale. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Na hiyo jina Talia ni jina ya usanii ama ni jina tu? Ni jina like uh, short form ya jina ama surname. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, are you where you want to be financial? No, not no. yet. What are the steps that you are taking to ensure that you get there one day? Saving, saving, investing, kadogo, kadogo, yeah. yeah. Are you comfortable sharing where you invest? Nah, no. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.